security has been a major issue in the country today as various miscreants and terrorists in guise of bandits, Boko Haram and kidnappers lay siege in into various communities and states in the country, displacing thousands of individuals from their homes. Two notable incidents of insecurity that occurred this year are the Zambamari massacre in Bono State and also the abduction of Kankara schoolboys from Castina State a few weeks ago. Both incidents actually caused an uproar in the country and abroad, and citizens questioned the government's commitment in securing the lives of its citizens. A lot of critics also criticized the government for its incapability to tackle the insecurity despite the promises. One notable governor that has also been in the forefront of this insecurity issue is the governor of Borno State, Professor Umaru Zulum. At some point, the governor and his convoy have been attacked, have been involved in the attacks by the Boko Haram insurgents. Recently, Governor Zulum has fallen victim to verbal attack from Renu Omokri and other critics for praising the president, Muhammadu Buhari, despite the risk of worsening insecurity in his state. Renu Omokri, in his post on Twitter, said, I have no sympathy for Borno State Governor. He has been reduced to crying in private and praising Buhari in public. Zulum should take you from Gombe, the state government. Well, he said he does not have a sympathy for the man because he cries in this in the in private, but praising Buari in the open. How did you know? Ren no mockery. Okay. And he said he should just um take a cue from the government of a Gombe state. Well, Zulum should take a cue from the Gombe governor, who honestly said Nigeria is facing the worst security challenge in its history hmm. how can nigerians empathize with zulu when he's still playing politics with the insecurity in borno speak the truth sir it will not kill you Buari is unable to provide security in asu rock if he can secure asu rock is it if he cannot secure asu rock is it borno he will secure okay and that is a uh, statement uh, Reno Mokri uh, made. Huh, like I said, of course, the reason why he must be saying that is that everybody is seeing what is happening. And this man, maybe he's seeing it from a different angle, different perspective. You know, at some point, he has accused the Nigerian army and those who came back for him that, how can you be saying that with all the things they have done? But he's been going back and forth. Nobody even understands him now. Tomorrow, he will say this. Another day, we will say another thing, you know, like that, like that, like that. And I'm sure... Reno Mokri is coming from that angle. He knows what he's doing, and I think he knows what he's facing, and which maybe is he probably be might be okay with it, but like you know, confusing people. You come today, you say another thing, tomorrow you say another thing. And by the way, Reno Mokri, which Buhari, when he's also unable to address the citizens' uh, life in this bad situation, the country is facing rather is doing what he knows or he can do. Zulum lost his credibility to defending Buhari, the epitome of Kulusa failure. Not is secured. All those videos were way with the C in a Photoshop. He was one of my best governor then, but later I realized he's an hypocrite. Huh? Really? One day, one day the truth will prevail. I hope it won't be late. The truth he will not tell will be the end of him and the oligarchy. Don't mind the man. Don't mind the professor. And these are the re re reactions of people to what Hereno has said that since the man, they don't even know where he belongs. Tomorrow he will say, where is the best? Another day we have used uh, the Nigeria army. Tomorrow you say, oh, this is the best. Uh, this thing. Then why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? And, and I think that's why people are not really so interested in in what is happening in Borno State, which president, when is also unable to address the citizens' uh, lives in this bad situation, only one day everything will be made open. The truth will definitely be revealed. Don't mind the man. Hmm. And so, it's, uh, someone is the opinion that uh, Reno is trying to 
uh, it's not epic matter that why should he be addressing the governor in that manner that is the type that would do, uh, who does not want say uh, insecurity to end in nigeria i don't know how how we uh, read no uh, statements concerning what the governor said to not to stop a uh, insecurity in the country that he wants it to continue i don't know like he said you know just say the truth in the secret in the private you'll be you'll be crying in the open you'll be praising Buari when everything is glaring to everybody it's just it's, are you playing politics and some people were like oh yes we really usually trust this man you know the way he was he was kind of, oh, he was carrying himself and going about everything you know they thought that oh he's going, he's going to be a different person but i think the day he made mention of ah yes uh, security under Buari is the best and i think that's why lots of people lost uh, respect for him because before then they would tell you oh they used to throw bomb they used to throw bomb they throw bomb they keep people they didn't throw bomb they're not throwing bomb they're still killing people what are we talking about what are we fighting for is for people's lives to be secured whichever way is being done it is inconsequential but to them to the people who are involved this so-called book or who are really involved in this whole thing they are still achieving their aims so i don't know when they will not say, oh, before, we used to throw bombs. But with what is happening, even on the road you are traveling, you see what is happening. So is there any difference? Is there any difference? Kidnapping here and there. People are being, you know, their lives are being taken. So what is not the difference? Are they, being, they are doing all this and, are, and people's lives are not involved. Uh -huh. Nigeria cannot say, yes, it is better now. We were battling with a uh, Boko Haram. Now it is bandit now. We have a repentant a book around. We still have a repentant bandit. We have kidnappers on the other hand. So what are we talking about? Are we now saying that we are progressing or we are retrogressing? Because I don't know the way and manner to which people uh, talk, uh, uh, they think from. I don't just get it. The most important thing is that let there be peace. That is what we are talking about. Because these people are still happy. They only change strategy. They change strategy and which is really working for them. And that is what the government is capitalizing on. Ah, they have decimated them. They have defeated them technically. That is the word of Eli Mohammed because they are not holding flags. But some of the northern lawmakers will tell you that they are still holding, if they are not holding flags, they are still in charge of many, many areas in the north. A, a, situation, where, a situation whereby the so called, whether they are bandits, whether they are Boko Haram, they are the judge in that particular place. They pay taxes to them. So, what are we talking about? Is there any improvement in that? They pay taxes to these people. They take their matters to them to judge for them. Before you go to farm, you, you have to bribe them. You have to pay. So what are we... All of this is... Were they happening before? No. So why do they want to take glory in all of these things? You want to take glory that uh, because a bomb is not involved. But people's lives are involved. People's lives are involved on a daily basis. So it's unfortunate. So let's hear your opinion uh, concerning what Ereno has said.